Hello, my fellow RTG enthusiasts. How are you doing? It is me, Lasty, here, and welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team RTG. Uh, it is episode number 72 today. Hope you're all doing well. If you are, that's a good thing. Let me know in the comments section below what game you're looking forward to on the World Cup today and who you got in your weekend league rewards because we're going to be getting to that point in our video here in just a bit. If you do enjoy, do me a favor, smash the thumbs up and subscribe as well if you're new. Cool. Cheers. Uh, so let's get stuck in then, shall we? So we have this team. I mentioned at the end of yesterday's video that Mascherano's a fraud and Park Ji-sung is a little bit... I'd rather take the coins for him at this point, I think. So, um, yeah, we're not we're not absolutely loving the team. Other than that, like, I love my front four. Rafael Leal, Marcus Rashford, Alawairan, and Freddie Jungberg are all class. Cordoba's brilliant. Quadrado is amazing. I really, really do not regret doing that SBC. He is quality. Um, and make sure you do your daily logins as well, guys, because there's a little SBC there. It can be a little bit... Um, there's so many SBCs out that you need to scroll through it a little bit to see that. But there's a little daily one that will get you a few packs and then eventually will get you an overall reward in the objective section. Don't miss out on it. Just log in and do that every day. It's proper easy and it will get you a nice little pack at the end of it. Um, so it couldn't be easier really, could it? So we'll open the little daily packs from those. Start topping the club up again with just a couple of players that we don't have. Or, well, if we already have them, like in that one, we'll just discard them both. Or stick them into some sort of SBC. I'm not four and six, despite the counter. I'm seven and three. Apparently, they can't do easy maths on the, on the little counter. So hopefully that gets fixed fairly soon. Uh, but this guy had the World Cup Drogba and Cristiano Ronaldo up front. Now, when I say the World Cup Drogba... He is the World Cup Drogba with his stats, but currently he has the body of Maldini and literally looks like Maldini. It's very odd, and he have messed up quite a lot with the uh, with the faces of these World Cup icons, I'll be real. I think if they don't look like another icon, like uh, Crespo looks like Del Piero, couldn't have a more of a difference between levels of hair there. Um then, yeah, they look kind of like a basic version of themselves. Like, I'm pretty sure Zidane is just, like, generic, balding male um, and, and and so on and so forth. We actually get a promo card from a objectives pack that we got for reaching level 20. And we get Hink Hinkapi. Hink I'm, I'm going to pronounce it like that. Hinkapi. Is that correct? Uh, the Ecuadorian left back for... Uh, Bayer Leverkusen can actually also play centre-back with that 87 pace. That might be something that we look to bring on for Mascherano for the rest of this weekend league. He went straight on the bench, and I am definitely going to be bringing him on when I'm feeling like uh, Mascherra fraud is, is, is not doing the business. Anyway, we got a penalty in the fourth minute of this, this, this game of champs. And I just rushed to take it because I was so convinced that everyone in this community is toxic and that he was going to quit at nil-nil uh, when he gave the penalty away. But fair play to him. He didn't do that. And and actually, he, he, ca he carried on playing, you know. Uh, Alawairan knocks it to the byline. Freddie Jungberg's waiting in there with his little red mohawk. Um, just waiting to tap that ball into the back of the net. But then this guy scores again. This time with Brolin, um, or Brolin, the, the Swedish World Cup hero. Linking up nicely with his Mbappe. Um, yeah, very even game. You could say that I haven't had as, as, as much uh, opportunity. But Freddie Jungberg, look at that. Look at that for a little shot. Very nice goal from him. And then uh, do we concede here? I think we probably do. If so, I'm just going to be taking a little sip of drink. I've got my, uh, my morning latte. Um, but we go 4-3 up. Little, little dink, little chip from Alawairan. The absolute mastermind of uh, pace and finishing. But yeah, I also brought ne uh, <laughs> Neil Buchanan. <laughs> I don't think he's called that. I think that's the guy from Art Attack or something. Uh, we brought Buchanan on and, uh, and he's so fast that I just bang the ball up to him and then uh, whip it across and um, eventually win the game. So... Good start. Good start. Considering we were seven and three, 
uh, to go in and get a win early doors is, is very nice. Uh, can we get a win in this game right here? Well, he's got Red, Ben Tanker. He's got Neymar, Ronaldo, Depay. Um, and I'll be honest. <coughs> excuse me. I knew from the very, very kickoff of this game that I was not going to win. <laughs> he was, I think, the craziest dribbler I've come up against. Just so patient. Very fluid with the ball. Um, do you know what? I just, I wish I had that level of uh, ability to move with the ball on this game. I just don't feel like I have it. But anyway, uh, so we take an L there. So if, I, I think I won the first two. I'm, I'm nine and nine and four now. Um, but it literally doesn't matter, right? Like as long as I can get my uh, my final two dubs in the many games that we've got left, I'm going to be okay. Um, but this guy had Vola. And Voller is nuts. The World Cup Voller especially has genuinely one of, probably, actually might be the best shot on the game. There is nothing more powerful. It is ridiculous how powerful his shooting is. Uh, and at 2-1 down and I was struggling, I thought I'm going to quit that one as well. And it might seem like a rash decision, but boy am I glad I quit right in that moment. Because uh, as you can see, I just got hit with a free win in the very next game. So if I hadn't have quit in that exact moment, the stars wouldn't have aligned. We wouldn't have got this free win right here. And everything in life would have been a bit different. So, yeah, think about that next time you, you rage quit and think, oh, should I have done that? Actually, it led to everything good that's then happened in your life ever since. Um, it is, we got a bit deep there. Things got a little bit crazy. But uh, as you can see, into the next one, this guy's got Lone Drogba, who, as I said, looks like Maldini. Um, and he ends up running through with Jungberg. And I should know about Jungberg because I literally have him and I use and abuse him as well. And he was just... If this doesn't show you that it's not just me that can use this card, everyone that uses him thinks he's good. He's under 100k. He's like 60 or 70k. He's nuts. He's really, really good. Give him a go if you've got under 100k that you want to spend on a World Cup hero. Put him in the right position. He'll always be on full chem. Anyway, I quit that one at 2-0 really early doors as well. And I thought to myself, should I have done that? Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the stars aligned. I don't know what, what I was doing uh, in life to, uh, to get so lucky. Um, but, yeah, next guy gave me a win as well. And that's my 11 wins. Like, as simple as that. The last two wins we got were literally freebies. Um, after early rage quits of, of games where I just couldn't be bothered to sweat it. So, uh, yeah, very, very thankful for for that right there um i had three games to give away of course we let my opponents take the the one nil victory just to make their weekend and life just that little bit easier just that little bit better um and to give back because obviously i've had two free wins this week uh it's it's nice to give away more free wins than i get because then i know that i haven't had like one of those really lucky weekends where I don't get to give anything away and everyone gives me stuff. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we finish with 11 wins as always. Um, the sweet spot in terms of foot champs rewards. And this next part you can blame my mates for because uh, I was streaming it on Discord to them and uh, it didn't feel like the right time to dip out of call and set all the cameras up and do the live reaction. I was quite tired. And I just, I, I said, hey, I'm, I'm going to open my rewards for you guys in here. Uh, and, and they essentially got my live reaction. And, and we're going to see it post-com uh, right now. But anyway, time for the new player picks. And um, these are trash. I'll be honest, these are absolutely woeful. Because look at this. That is terrible. I'm joking. Oh, my God. <laughs> World Cup boot Trigueno. What? And the purple Wijnaldum in the same pick. Oh my days, this is a one point something million coin World Cup icon. I was shaking. He's been upgraded to four star skills. He's got a five star weak foot. I have just been niced big time. I have hit the jackpot with my weekend league rewards. I hope we never ever get red picks ever again. Because... Uh, Jesus, I just got a World Cup icon uh, from a one of four 84 plus player pick. We will take that all day long. And I check his price there. 1.2, 1.3 million. Wow, what do we do to deserve that? This game is... Uh, 
favoring me right now. Uh, you can say that for sure. This, however, this 5 times 83 plus pack has so far for me and everyone else that I've watched been a major L and doesn't give you anywhere near in terms of the value that the uh, just the, the team of the week pack will give you because you get a guaranteed 30k from that. And unfortunately, you get nowhere near that if you just pack like an 84 or something in uh, in in it. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not the greatest of value, but I am absolutely not going to be complaining about any of my packs in this episode uh, simply because my player pick was so amazing. Uh, I cannot believe we've just packed a ridiculous World Cup icon. Nutty. Anyway, from the 50k pack, I think the highest rated player there was an 83 Hradecki, uh, but we did get a red Thomas Muller, so we'll take that. And the ultimate pack then, one of the best packs on the game, gives me uh, Yuri Tielemans. Um, yeah, not a great ultimate pack. Again, if if I'd have got that Tielemans in the player picks and then Butragueno would have popped up in this pack, I'd have been buzzing. So uh, we're still absolutely buzzing. And I'm getting so sick of these red picks now that I'm not even letting the whole animation play out. I'm just going through and skipping it each time uh, so that I could get them done as quickly as possible because they are, they're long at this point, aren't they? I just need to get up to 750 players so that I can get all of those rewards come January and uh, then and then I wish these things would go away. But they're going to be here for over a month. Oh, no. <laughs> these are going to be very frustrating in people's... Uh, in people's packs going forwards, aren't they? Because they're starting to they're starting to get annoying now. Anyway, not the greatest 50k pack, not the greatest ultimate pack, but certainly the greatest player pick that I've had this year on FIFA. Um, that's the that's the best pack, right? That's the best player I've had this FIFA. One point something million, of course it is. Alawiran had that up until now, um, being like six seven hundred thousand coins. But right now, obviously, it has to be. It has to be Butragueno. Now, I was mentioning earlier about how certain players, certain World Cup icons look in-game. Um, and so, like, Drogba has currently got Maldini's body. And uh, Crespo has currently got Del Piero's body. Uh, and then some of the other icons have just got, like, generic-looking versions of themselves. Well, it turns out that Emilio Butragueno um, looks like... Looks like he could be one of the, uh, he just looks like he should be playing Glastonbury with Oasis or something. He looks like a, <laughs> one of the one of the Oasis brothers, um, one of the Gallaghers. Uh, it's a bit weird. Yeah, he's just got like that sort of haircut and, and doesn't look like himself. Um, so it's quite funny. But hopefully they make that the switch to their proper faces at some point soon. Uh, because that would be good, wouldn't it? I, I can't I can't take it much longer to see see these icons looking all rubbish. They're like such top tier content in the game. I just want them to look how they should look um, on FIFA. But anyway, we're gonna list up Theo Hernandez. We've already listed up Park Ji Sung uh, because uh, we've just we've we've since Pack and Butragueno, we're gonna just have a different team, aren't we? Something's gonna change uh, in order for me to fit him in, and I wasn't loving. Park, uh, definitely not loving Mascherano. He can go to the depths of my club. And I just thought I'd take the money for Theo whilst he was a bit more than what I paid for him. Um, because, yeah, it gives us a, a good insight as to the sort of money we're actually worth on the RTG now, which is 438k. It's been a lot more recently, but we did open a few expensive packs with coins and took a loss on a couple of players and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, overall, we're way, way, way up, aren't we, after packing that Spanish icon that is uh, kind of nuts. Now, I'm not saying that Liao's rubbish, but I've got an idea of who I want at left midfield um, in my starting lineup. I want to I want to try this player since the patch. I'm genuinely uh, curious as to how he might play. So uh, at the start of tomorrow's video, we will go spend in and we'll get the new players for our squad. Um, and Liao will just come on as a super sub. And uh, yeah, I mean, like there's some gaps here. We just need to fill them. But what a set of rewards they were. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Do me a favor. Smash the thumbs up. Not just 3,000, not just 4,000. Maybe 5,000 likes for my best pack on the RTG this year. 1.2 million coins worth of World Cup icon Emilio Butragueno. What a beast. I'm looking forward to using him, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you. And follow me on social media. My Twitter, my Instagram, all of that stuff 
they're down below. Have a good one, guys and girls, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Peace.